Step 2. Reservation Feedback In this step, we will see how ARCHICAD helps designers by providing feedback about the reserved elements and about the team members who made the reservations. We will introduce the Colored Workspaces feature of the Teamwork Palette and present the different options for the display of elements based on reservations or users. When you have reserved elements, it's possible to have your reservations displayed in such a way that it is easy to identify them graphically. The Colored Workspaces field on the Workspace panel of the Teamwork palette provides several options for this. Let's see what these are. Double-click to activate the 3.2.1 Reservation Feedback Preset View located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator View Map. Click to activate the Object Tool in the Toolbox and activate the Select All Objects option from the Edit menu. This will select all objects on the active floor in the project. Please note that depending on whether you have the MEP modeler or not, the number of objects found and selected will vary. Click the Reserve button of the Teamwork palette to reserve all previously selected objects. Notice how the selection hotspots of the objects have changed. Click elsewhere or press the Escape key to deselect the reserved objects. Click to display the available colored workspaces list of the Teamwork palette. As you can see, currently the All with Original Color option is selected. This means that all elements are displayed with their original color which can be defined in the Element Settings dialog. Select the Gray Out Unowned Workspace option from the Colored Workspaces list. This option will display the elements you have reserved with their original colors, and it will display all other elements with a light gray color. Select the Highlight My Reservation option from the Colored Workspaces list. This option is slightly different from the previous one since it will display all your reserved elements with the red color, so your elements will stand out on the screen. All other elements will be displayed in a light gray color. Red is the default color for this option. You may modify it in the Work Environment dialog. Select the Show Reservation by Users option from the Colored Workspaces list. Now, all the non-reserved elements will be displayed in blue. The elements reserved by individual users will be displayed by the color assigned to them. Each user is identified by a different color as displayed in the Teamwork palette. All elements reserved by a certain user will be displayed in the color of this user. Notice that three items are displayed for every user. Their online or offline status, the color assigned to their workspace, and their full name. Color coding is especially useful when several architects are working on the same teamwork project. With this display mode, you can easily identify by color which elements are free for reservation and which elements belong to another team member. We will see more examples of this later on in this chapter. Select the Highlight My Reservation option from the Colored Workspaces list. We will be using this workspace display option in later steps so we will clearly see our reserved elements while other elements will be displayed in the light gray color. Select the Options, Work Environment, On-Screen Options menu item to open the corresponding page of the Work Environment dialog. At the bottom of this page of the dialog you can see the Workspace Colors area. Here you will find the color preferences you can set for workspace representation. For example, the passive item sets the color of those elements seen in previous steps in a light gray color. 
These were elements not belonging to anyone's workspace. The free elements item set the color of elements not reserved by anyone when reservations by all members are shown using colored workspaces options. Click Cancel to leave this dialog and return to the floor plan.